Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. There's a couple of reasons why I find this statement problematic. First of all, history is what it is. You know, you can't wash it away, you can't erase it because it makes you uncomfortable. The more appropriate response, in my opinion, would be to acknowledge that the pain and the toxicity of British colonial, British imperial divide and rule policy uh, remains a sensitive and tender subject in the countries where it was perpetrated. The British set people against each other. They set groups against each other on the basis of religion, on the basis of race, on the basis, basis of ethnicity, on the basis of color. We all know what they did and the remnants of that remain uh, a difficult issue to grapple with in the societies left behind as they're trying to move forward. If the only way that you can have social harmony in a country is by pretending that the entire context within which that society exists didn't happen, you will never have social harmony. You have to be able to acknowledge the wrongdoings of your ancestors while acknowledging that even the wrongdoings that they may have committed were committed while they were in a subject state. They were used by the British. And that's the case of so many people. My people are Irish. I'm Irish American. So we had 800 years of British rule. That's Protestant and Catholic divide. But everyone has to acknowledge, look, we were used by powerful people against each other and we shouldn't have been. And we disavow those actions. We disavow what our ancestors did. We disavow what our ancestors were made to do by British imperialists. Because as long as you're not acknowledging that, if you're in denial about that, you're kind of still on the side of the colonizers because you are glossing over the facts. You're glossing over the reality. Acknowledged as an outsider, my opinion is that a Malaysian in 2022, regardless of his or her ethnicity or race or religion, you're Malaysian and you should be able to be proud watching the movie Mat Kilau. You should feel proud. Why not? A British expat or a white guy like myself could watch Matt Kilau and feel, oh, you know, white people were really badly represented in that film. It's happened. It happened. These things occurred. You can't change history. You can't rewrite history. You can't censor history. If you want to move forward in the future, you have to acknowledge that wrongdoings were committed in the past and you have to disavow them. There were some Malays in that film that were not presented in particularly positive light. This is just a story from history. If you can find a name of a Sikh in the history of Malaysia who was a conscientious objector and refused to follow the orders of British imperialists, then make a movie about him. Otherwise, they were subject. And this is the remaining uh, wounds in the society left by British colonial divide and rule policy. If you want to move past it, you have to acknowledge it. Assalamu alaikum.